So we've generated a lot of ideas. Some of them are traditional, some of them are new, some of them are wacky, some of them are really sensible. Uh, the idea is that we've generated a lot. Now how do we manage all of those ideas and get it back quickly and effectively into thinking about uh, the best way forward? First thing I suggest is that you and the team identify the two most important criteria for choosing. Uh, I've got an example here. Uh, this may not be the same criteria that you choose. What I'm showing here is that one criteria is the, di the, the level of difficulty. So uh, to, from hard to easy. The other criteria I've chosen here is uh, low value to high value. What, what, how much uh, of a difference is this, gonna, uh, is this solution going to add to our organization, to our problem, uh, whatever that may be? Uh, now, from this, if you've got everybody's ideas on the old uh, post-it notes, then you can very quickly review. Uh, idea number one, that's easy, but it's not going to really add a lot of value. Uh, idea number two, it's going to add a lot of value, but it's going to be really hard to make that happen. Uh, idea number three, somewhere in the middle. Idea number four, hmm, really hard. I'll tell you what, it's not going to really make a lot of difference either. Um, so let's put it up here. Uh, we've got another idea that falls into the same category. Then uh, we've got another one that looks like it's, oh wow, it's going to be fairly easy to do. And if we do it, it's going to make a big, uh, a big difference. You see how easy it is to use, if you've got your two criteria, for choosing sorted out, you can easily come up with a two by two matrix like this, and you can very rapidly uh, rank and rate your, uh, your your choices. Now, the obvious choice to go ahead with here is the one that's easy to do and is going to add a lot of value. Uh, but I would encourage you just to be a little bit more critical in your thinking here, because there's another one here that would add a lot of value and it's going to be difficult. Um, this actually might be more profound. Maybe it's worth spending a bit of time solving the, the, the problems. What, what, what makes it hard? Can we remove some of the difficulty? Uh, can we find some way of making this easy? Because this might actually turn out to be the optimum solution. Uh, yeah, and sometimes post-it notes fall off uh, the page. We need to quickly put them back up here. Another way of doing this is to have a ranking exercise. If you can't identify two criteria, and maybe there are several that need to be considered, then uh, I'm sure you've got somebody that can quickly draw up a, a, an Excel spreadsheet um, for people to rank uh, their choices um, in terms of uh, the, the best value. Uh, against the top three, perhaps, or the top five, uh, or every idea, give it a, a ranking from one to ten, or, or, or um, whichever way you want to do that. Fairly quick and easy to do. It wouldn't take you very long. The danger of just going quickly for, okay, what does everybody think? I think this. Does everybody agree? Uh, is that um, those few minutes that you've saved uh, will miss an opportunity for some critical thinking from your team, for people to really understand why we're choosing a particular way forward. If they haven't really participated in that, if they haven't engaged in the thinking, then they won't be as committed to the solution when it's being rolled forward. So by doing this, you're already getting buy-in from your people. So uh, here are a couple of, and this has been a couple of ideas on how to manage that uh, large range of ideas that you've generated before and quickly boiling it down to the best way forward. Sometimes, and if you're just doing this on your own, sometimes though I would encourage you to pay attention to your instincts. Uh, just quietly go through all of the alternatives that you've generated and pay attention to your own sense of motivation with each one. Uh, and just look for, maybe there are one or two that gives you that, give you that little buzz of excitement. Uh, that really get your attention, that get the juices moving. Uh, when that happens, um, that is your mind and body telling you a lot more than you realize. That's all of your experiences coming to bear. Um, because the solution that you're most excited by and motivated by, you will probably put more energy into. And it may well turn out to be more successful than uh, a, a more logical solution that doesn't excite you as much. So I know there are a number of things to take account of here, but you've got to pay attention to the criteria. So excitement level, 
might be one of the two criteria that are really important to you here. Choose the two criteria and it becomes easy. Uh, the next step is going to be to make sure we don't stop here. Uh, in team meetings, when there's an agenda, how many times have we gone through agenda item 1, 10, 12, 15, and we've apparently made a decision and we stop there and we move on to the next agenda item. The problem is not solved. The problem is solved when we take action and make something happen. So uh, the next step is going to be to make sure that we take action.